Subaru EJ25 block. Uh, it's kind of dirty, kind of ugly. I'm actually going to point out some crankcase ventilation stuff. Uh, as you can see, this port right here is near your turbo, which would be in this area. And this goes to the intake and sucks on the crankcase ventilation. So, when you rotate this block around, you will find, very few guys talk about this sucker, you find this plate right here. It's covered, it actually goes on like that. What that is, is that this port where you're sucking through sucks crankcase ventilation out through this port and has baffles in it so you try not to get any oil up in the crankcase ventilation. It's kind of like having a built-in catch can in the motor itself. You'll notice here there's a drain. This drain drain backs to the oil pan so if any oil gets cavitated up into the actual crankcase ventilation and like particles or molecules, it should hit these windage trays and go back down into the oil pan. Kind of a self-reliant catch can in the back of the block. Um, then also, a valve cover from an STI. Got a crankcase port and then a secondary uh, crossover ports in the top of the, head, top of the engine. You'll see that this port sucks through a baffle in the valve cover. There's one port here to let in air and then there's one over in here. So while the cams are spinning around, it's only sucking in one area that is least likely to get oil up in it. Also the valve cover sits on end. Also meaning that oil has to travel up through the hose into the crankcase ventilation. So pointing these things out, I'm next going to show a crankcase setup on an STI for a higher horsepower engine. So if you keep watching, you'll see a Moroso catch can and crankcase ventilation. So that's our Moroso oil catch can. As you can see, the top port is actually the suction related to the intake suction side. It's actually sucking on the crankcase of the motor. Center port is going to our block crankcase and each one of these ports is going to each valve cover. So what we're trying to do is suck as much crankcase pressure to help extend the rings out into the cylinders. Originally this car had a Y pipe with a limited crankcase ventilation. What we're adding here is the fact that we have a larger suction side from the turbo and individual suction from each port on the motor. Overall, if this thing gets oil in this catch can, after seeing that the car already supports its own way of keeping oil out of the crankcase ventilation, you probably have an engine problem. This port in the block, it now has to go through its built-in block catch can up through this port into this catch can which also has a baffle inside of it that keeps oil from going into the intake side. Same thing on each valve cover, you have to get the oil up through the actual baffling plate, through the tube, into our Moroso can and then back into the intake. So overall we now have a very extensive oil catch can setup to keep oil from going in the front of our turbo. Um, if you have any questions or want an actual oil catch can setup on your Subaru, go ahead and email us or stop by our shop in person. Email us sales at projectimport.com.